birch tree. It is most likely a young Betula lenta, sweet birch, black birch, cherry birch are some of the names. If you trace the stem all the way to the end, you could see the leaf buds, but also the catkins forming here. Hello and welcome to this month's Healing Plant Connections for Minka. This month's plant is birch. Birch strongly embodies the energy of spring and we are almost there. I'm sure you can feel the shift, especially after we've changed the clocks. Birch represents bright beginnings. The word birch comes from Proto-Indo-European bereg, which means to shine and it means bright. Birch are generally, not always, lanky, slender, and they come in, they're, they're not very long-lived, they're fairly short-lived trees because they make way for other trees to come into the land. They are the first ones. So when the glaciers receded at the last ice age, the first trees to come in were the birches. And it's this energy of beginning, the starting one, the one who leads the way. This is the energy of birch. Talking a little bit about the botany of birch trees, as I mentioned, they are generally fairly lanky. They have prominent lenticels, these lines that are present. Like if you think of a cherry tree, I think that's a tree a lot of people recognize that they have these lines on the bark. Birch is very similar and there is actually a species of birch, the one that I'm sitting in front of right now, that could be mistaken for a cherry tree if you did not look at some of the other identifying characteristics of the tree. Another uh, thing to look for on these trees are catkins. These are the reproducing bodies of the tree. And there are what are known as male or pollen producing catkins that hang down and those will start emerging and uh, very soon in the next few weeks or, or month. And then there are the feminine or um, receptive parts that are actually upright and these receive the pollen from the tree. And these grow, this tree is known as monoecia, so it grows the same male and female or pollen producing and receptive parts on one tree. That doesn't necessarily mean it's self-pollinating though. It might like to receive pollen from other trees that are in the area. And there's a great variety of species in this region and around the world. They do grow mostly in the Northern Hemisphere. This is their um, part of the world. And they tend to grow larger in Northern areas um, where it's colder. I think they kind of like the, the wintry weather. Do you think about that as, you know, the beginnings when they first came in after the glaciers retreated, it was still probably fairly cold where they started started growing. You will find birch species in southern parts of North America or Turtle Island. Um, however, there's something about the ones in the north that have a slightly different energy. Uh, the, the tree itself is a symbol, a strong symbol for birth, renewal, spring as I mentioned, new beginnings, fertility, change, letting go, shedding. So the trees, if you think of a white or paper birch, um, the paper birch easily peels away. River birches too, they have the skin, this, this outer layer of bark that just easily peels away. And there's actually a lot of great uses for that bark. Um, if you visit my YouTube channel, you'll see that there's a little video on a, a ritual on how to 
um, write intentions on birch bark and use them to start fire. This is another element of birch is they have a connection with fire. They make excellent fire starter. They're actually, can, you can use the bark when it's wet to start a fire because there are specific compounds in it that just ignite very easily. So if you're ever needing to start a fire when it's raining or, or things are damp, you look for birch. That's a great fire starter. And also think of it as a creative spark. So that fire of the birch is, is the spark that starts new things, that fire that starts new things. And thinking of that, thinking of the goddess Breed, Breed or Brigid, she is also associated with fire and spring and this is a tree very much connected with birch. They even likely have the same root word, bereg, breed, brigid, and birch. And they mean shining one or bright one or exalted one, she's also called. And she is the goddess of the forge, the fires of the forge and the fires of creativity, um, the, the weaving of poetry, and the sacred wells of the land. Now, birch is also connected with the waters. So again, these two are very tightly wound together and kind of inseparable in a lot of ways. Uh, the, the nature of birch in connection with water is very specific to the kidneys and urinary system. Birch is a great ally for healing that part of the body. In the old Germanic runic system, uh, birch is represented by berkana or berkano, and that really just means birch. It's the same root word again, bereg. And this again represents the goddess, represents mothering, nurturing, refuge, protection, safety, um, new beginnings. All the things that are associated with birch are there embodied in that rune. And similarly, in the Celtic Oum, Bea is birch, and same thing, new beginnings. It's, this is also the first, I'll say letter, it's not necessarily a letter, but the first letter or sign, Oum sign or stave in the system of uh, the Oum. So it's almost like the A in, in the alphabet a bit, although it doesn't quite have the same meaning. Another strong connection in the natural world with birch is with deer and reindeer. And deer like to browse on birch. Birch is really tasty. I don't know if you've ever had birch beer, but that is exactly where it comes from, from the birch. The birch bark or the roots um, have a delicious wintergreen-like flavor. And this tells us about its medicine. Um, it tells us about its pain relieving medicine, the methyl salicylates that are present in this tree. So um, birch is also used for pain and arthritic conditions, both topically and internally. But I digress. Back to the deer. So uh, the deer browse on birch and deer is really important, um, really important animal for people native to Turtle Island and for people in Northern Europe and Asia. If you think of the reindeer and the Sami people and the Siberian people who continued to herd the reindeer, um, birch, again, thinking again about the glacial recession um, in these northern regions where birch is more present, uh, there's a, this strong connection between those two. There's also a connection between birch and the fly agaric or Amanita muscaria mushroom. It's that beautiful red, um, you know, what we might call a toadstool. It's like the fairy tale mushroom, red with white dots. And there's a lot of great information you could find about this, uh, this mushroom online and its connection with Santa Claus, uh, the red and white that Santa wears, and the reindeer who eat the fly agaric and then uh, people will then distill and drink the urine of these deer who've eaten the fly agaric mushroom to use it as uh, a divination tool, a tool for shamanic trance work, for going into journeys, for really important healing work 
um, not as a recreational drug, but as something that will help you see in a different way, to help you see the world in a new way. And there is an ancient British practice of connection with Ellen of the Ways, who is the goddess of the land and the goddess of the reindeer and the goddess of birch and of what I would think of as the ley lines, the deer paths, the, the deer paths, which are also the stream of consciousness, the stream of dreaming that exists that Ellen of the Ways is the goddess of. She's the goddess of the land and of sovereignty of the land. And um, she's, you know, she flies over, you know, I've, I'm sure there's some strong connection between Ellen and the fly agaric mushroom as well. She flies over the reindeer paths, just as the people who would take the fly agaric mushroom would also do in the imaginal realm but it's very real too, um, over these ley lines, over these paths that lead you to, you know, really important information about the land. Also about where to find the deer that perhaps in certain cultures people might hunt. So um, again, this is all connected to birch. Birch is a very magical tree, very strongly linked to this time of year and renewal. So on that note, we are going to go on a journey with Birch. And if you feel called to, you can call in one of the goddesses that I mentioned um, or a goddess or energy that you connect with and feel a, is linked to Birch or spring or new beginnings and we are going to dream a bit. Dream about a new beginning for yourself or for the world. Calling on Birch, calling on Ellen, calling on Breed, calling on whom you feel is meant to be here with you on this journey of a new beginning. My trusted friend Ruby here is going to help us on this journey if you've been on one of these Healing Plant Connections before you've met her. Um, she is a drum made by somebody who is now an ancestor. Um, she's made of elk and I don't know the kind of wood that's here. It's beautiful um, and I'm grateful for the medicine of the elk who is connected with the reindeer as well and um, for the medicine of the tree that's here and for the medicine that's been passed down to me by my teacher, Irma Star Spirit Turtle Woman, and by all who have come down through the ages, connecting to the heartbeat of the earth through the drum. I am so grateful. So we'll get started with our journey. Find a cozy spot to rest your body and rest your mind. You can stay seated or you may want to lie down. You might like to get an eye covering and a blanket. Get comfortable, but not so comfortable that you might fall asleep. Once you have yourself situated, drop into your breath. Feel the energy flowing in and out of your body. Imagine a white light surrounding you, enveloping you, and feel this white light entering as you inhale. Exhale anything that you no longer need in this moment. Let go. Inhale, feeling the white light spreading throughout your entire body, through your lungs, which bring in the oxygen streaming through your blood and into your cells just as we bring in this oxygen bring in the light 
feel it permeating your entire being. Continue to exhale and let go and inhale and bring in the light until you feel full of light, so much so that you are emanating this light all the way around you. And begin to travel on this light. Notice how the light is casting a path in front of you. Follow this path until you come to a clearing in a forest. In this clearing, you notice that you are surrounded by a grove of birch trees. They respond to this light that you are glowing with their own light. Imagine the interplay of these two lights, your own and the birch, until they are completely merged into one white light. And as they become one, Call on your guides, call on Birch, call on the goddess to travel with you to a new beginning. Allow whatever comes to arise, release any judgment, release any fear, you are in the protection of the birch. I will drum and when it is time to return, I will call you back.
back to the grove of birches, offering your thanks to the guides and following the light path back, back through all the layers of space and time, back to your space feeling the support you are on. Feel the temperature of the air on your skin, the clothing on your skin, bringing yourself back gently into this awareness. Listen for sounds in the room. And when you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes and take some time to journal, have some water, and come back to your ordinary reality. You can return to this journey anytime you feel called. May you continue on this path with Birch and the Goddess. And if you'd like to get in touch, I'll leave my information here at the end of this video. Many blessings.